Hello all, welcome back to the JV Reddy Automation World. Right, uh, <clears throat> today I have came up with one more interesting uh, right, uh, interview questions that is EPUM interview questions. Right, uh, we will discuss right, uh, more about EPUM interview questions. Please subscribe to the channel if anyone not subscribed. Right, uh, you will get uh, please enable notifications. You will get notified whenever I will release a new video. Right, <clears throat> more, for more interesting topics, please stay in touch. Right, EPUM interview basically it will be a little bit complex compared to other companies. Right, EPUM is more focused on technical things. Right, more analysis they will ask right in depth in deep uh, answers and uh, technical wise they will look more little difficult to compare to others right here a technical round technical round is uh, about right one one hour to one and a half hour mostly right uh, i have attended two times right one time i cleared one time two rounds completed right it will take a uh, first round mostly one and a half mostly one and a half hour it will take first technical manager okay fine it will be done right HR. first technical round is the most important right we'll see what are the right uh, selenium mostly they will ask uh, selenium they will touch very less only but more core java they will point out core java git right maven ccd those things will focus more manual also right the uh, first question right there are some uh, basic questions i did not uh, noted down those basic questions anyway we have covered in the previous interview questions right uh, tcs cts infosys i have posted there it will cover you go through those things but a little difficult difficult uh, right typical questions uh, maybe somewhat difficult questions compared to others right right uh, expert for an element uh, web table they will open the some website right they will open some website they will ask to write the code for it right export for it right if it is a right just they will ask uh, <clears throat> i got uh, one question like web table they have given they ask to write the export for those right a table id we can identify suppose tr2 tr tdf right second row first column how to identify Right, sometimes based on the some name, I want to click on it. Based on some name, I want to click on that on element or based on <clears throat> right uh, like that. Right, just uh, I will show you some examples. Right, suppose if you take this is the table. Right, this is the table. I want to click on based on contact, based on contact name or country or salary. Or I want to click on the checkbox right we have to write uh, first we have to inspect right then how we will write right suppose i want to click uh, based on austria i want to click or select first we will see click how to click on based on the country name right first we have to identify the country Right, we know it to see some people will iterate TR of right all TRs and TDs not required. Right, if you are right uh, <clears throat> more intellectually uh, right experts, we can write it to do these things by using right. We'll see how to do it. Right, control F slash slash. First, we will do use based on the star. Right, text equal to expert i am writing austria first i have identified this next what i have to do i have to click on this where is that click if you see same tr same tr it will be a last that means these are all siblings right below sibling i want to click on the below sibling anchor tag first we have to identify below siblings right how to identify slash slash following following iphone sibling colon td right following siblings will come now directly i can have a slash a the td which has a right only one td has it it has a 
directly we can write like this we can click on it right no need to iterate all the years and find the right no not required. that will take lot of time right then if i want to click the checkbox similarly then what we will do we will go to right above sibling means preceding sibling right preceding sibling preceding sibling colon colon td now i want to where i want to click on it this one right a td which has a input right a td which has child input right simple way we can uh, right they will ask uh, some website they will open they will ask right i got a table one maybe they will ask different uh, website different questions right simply like this we have to if you are good in the xpath then you can write anything just uh, css also just to go through the css right but backward forward right backward direction we cannot do text identification backward ident right backward travels we cannot do with uh, css right that is the first question second question is write a program to get drop down values and eliminate duplicates right they have given asked question like they were right asked to write a code get all the drop down values they have some duplicates in drop down they want to ask me to remove those how we will do it first we will create the clone driver get it and create the select class object and give the drop down drop down dot get options we will get all the options now how to find whether duplicate element or not we have to first get the text of it right iterate all these things right and store in the store in the right directly we can store in the right set right directly we can store in the set if any duplicates are there right we can we can it will remove automatically right just if you want to store if you want to see those things also we can store in the list and the list will contain all the duplicates we will convert the list into set right while creating set object we can pass in the constructor argument as a list so that we will have both if you don't want this uh, right all the elements the text directly we can add it in the set itself so that set will not allow duplicates it will remove duplicates right we can do like this right one more is a web page contains a unknown number of frames what they are asking is i have a web page they are giving one web page it has uh, right multiple frames they don't know how many are there one of the frame contains a text box one of the frame contains a text box write a program to identify the correct frame and enter the text into text box right what the question is there are we don't know how many frames are there but one frame contains a text box we have to identify that to enter the text of it right first uh, we can launch the application then we can by using the by dot tag name driver dot find elements by dot tag name high frame we will get all the frames in the all the frames in the web page right we will get all the list of web elements right then what we will do we have to do we have to right iterate one by one frame driver dot switch to frame right switch to frame driver dot switch to frame we will switch to frame by using index we can switch to either index or anything right either directly a element also right we can do anything then we will see driver dot find element by id right uh, something that the text box will have some uh, locator right we have to input if it has only one element directly we can give by dot tag name input suppose if it has anything we can give that element right here actually we have to be very careful here right all frames are see try and catch block we have to write try and catch because why if which frame element has we don't know right first we are identifying element if it is not available it will throw exception so if it is throwing exception means we have to ignore it we have to ignore it we have to continue to next right next one we have to continue to next frame right again we will switch to next frame we will verify the element if the element is there okay enter the text text found we have a one boolean variable just 
to make sure okay text is found then break the loop break the loop come out of it switch back to default content switch back to default content if text is uh, not found text box is not available in any frames we will display our text box is found we can write right simply first we have to get the all the frames iterate one by one frame and find if element is there or not try and catch is important in the catch block just we will ignore the exception all right we will go otherwise what will happen it will whenever exception occur it will break the array right, terminate the program all right we should not terminate we have to go to next frame right that is the question right these are the most typical right a little bit typical questions right remaining all are easy only i did not mention all those things these are the selenium interval questions right coming to right course java we will see in the next class right <clears throat> thanks for watching if you like my way of contenting content and presentation please subscribe to the channel enable notifications right please share to your friends if anything is there please comment in the comment section i will uh, reply to that if you need more if you know more questions you can also comment it out some other persons will get uh, right uh, they will also read those things right thanks for watching